Hello viewers and welcome to our first look at Trackmania which is released today. Uh, this is a game that came out of the blue, it was shown a couple of months ago for the first time. When I first saw it I thought, well it's Trackmania. What's the difference of this Trackmania? And in, on the whole it doesn't necessarily look a million times different to the old Trackmania. Uh, and it's one of those games that's kind of been kept under wraps for some time but I sort of looked at it and figured to myself, I have no idea what the big secret is. But Trackmania, for those that have not seen it before, is a essentially it's a simplistic racing game where you have, you know, a, a varied range of tracks, you know, that can go drive up walls, loop the loops. Uh, but it's all about perfection of your driving. You do a stage, a bit like Trials HD, if you like. If you haven't played it. You uh, do a stage and you can restart and you can perfect your times, perfect your times, perfect your times. It's a, it's a strangely simple game to look at, yet enormously compelling. You'll, you'll find yourself wanting to restart over and over again, especially when you're competing with your friends. So the, the sort of addictive qualities to Trackmania have stood the test of time. You had the original Trackmania released in 2006. I remember back in... 2011 I think it was I went to see Trackmania Canyon for the first time and I met up some of the experts uh, that were demoing it to me my goodness me were they good at the game uh, and they, they you know obviously they were keyboard players as well I'm not a keyboard player give me a control pad I'm a noob when it comes to this the top players are keyboard players and their skills were just on another level as you as you'd expect with a lot of games uh, but we're back now, uh, you know, HD sort of update, if you like, shiny textures, shiny roads, new graphics. Uh, and again, everything you can expect is in there, building your tracks, racing on community tracks. Uh, the handling itself is has a nice weight uh, feel to it. Uh, there's a limit to the traction. Uh, I, I have to admit, in, in driving it, I've not found the sweet spot with it. Uh, this game at the moment is PC only, which is a bit odd. You know, I think it's the sort of thing that would have converted well. We had Trackmania Turbo released a few years ago uh, on PlayStation, Xbox, and that was great, good fun, uh, especially with the PlayStation VR. Uh, loved it. You know, it's definitely worth a play. In many respects, I like the new the Trackmania Turbo more than this version. I found this is very much sort of back to basics. But I think we take a quick look at it as well. A uh, couple of things really I think it's gonna we, we just need to talk about before we play the game it, or see the game is uh, there's uh, various packs now. So you've got a starter pack uh, which is free, then you have standard access which is 9.99 euros a year, and you have the club access year pass which is between uh, 29.99 euros for a year or 59.99 for three years. So a subscription service now to Trackmania. Uh, that's going to be interesting. Yeah, I think what it is, it's going to enable them to fund and develop it. It's going to enable them to moderate the community. But at the same time, that it, it, it could pose as a barrier to those new to Trackmania. We'll have to see how that works and develops. But uh, very limited time to make this preview. The game is out today. So I've and I had a few uh, issues, uh, which was uh, if the if you have the Thrustmaster Sparko handbrake attached the game will not run properly. So I had all these nightmares trying to get the game running when it eventually turned out that all I needed to do was unplug the handbrake. But there we go. So I thought one of the main things to look at in this video, why don't we just look at the tutorial and uh, we can go through some of the details there and you get a slight feel for Trackmania if you're not so aware of it. So let's take a look at that. So to learn the basics, I figure, you know, let's go into the tutorial because it shows you a lot of the different racing challenges you're likely to come up against this is a good example simple road just finding your correct racing line weight of the car but you see I didn't touch the apexes there more time to find then you add a bit less grip move the surface you know a bit less grip and gradients to the surface and again always more time to find you got ice opposite lock all the way lots of power sideways managing to make it work and a road with a with a massive crest uh, and just how best to cover these elements so all of these elements will come into play when you're racing round against your ghost this new one got the loop hit and 
Oh, that caught me out. I wasn't expecting it at the time. I just thought, oh, that's fine. Loops are hard enough without barriers, but luckily I've played Track Mania before, so I knew what I was doing. just needed to know those bars were going to be in the way. There are cheeky elements on Track Mania circuits that will catch you out as much as you think you know what you're doing. What's this one here? Engine off. So you just have to let the, let the car coast, uh, which is interesting. That actually took several attempts. <laughs> so I didn't know what I was doing at first. I went straight into the wall and I thought, right, you know, let's just crack on. Because if I, the problem is it triggers me, Track Mania. You know, I guess I can blame Gran Turismo for that. You know, when you start getting golds, you just want to see golds there. Uh, this one was with multiple routes. You had a slow-mo and a uh, fast outside section. And it was just finding the right route that takes you through. But again, no doubt, keep working on it and you'll uh, find that extra tenth of a second you need. This one here, no steering, very interesting. Took a few attempts uh, to try and, you can see here, trying to get the line just right to get past that first bollard as it were. And then you're on your way. Um, and so I took it really slowly in the end. So I wasn't after a medal, I just thought, let's just get through this stage. There we are, that's nice. And away we go. So, loads of time to find, but I just took my time in the end and thought, well, let's get through it. Not one I enjoyed so much, that one. You can't do anything, obviously. There's no steering. So, that was the end of that stage. It's not not, not my, not my uh, cup of tea, as it were. And then here, you go straight down the middle. I just wanted to compare the difference in speed to these sections either side. And again, there's more speed to be found. You can see my ghost was further ahead. But got it wrong there, so... So a lot of this is about markings in the floors. You see a little bit of boost, too much. Right, okay, I had no idea what I was doing, obviously. You just accelerate, go for it, and see what the track is. And then going again, I'm like, I know what I'm doing. All right, not enough power. Never mind, just an immediate restart. And it's just how late do you lift? Lovely. Now somehow I only got a silver. I don't really know how that could even be impossible with a gold. I didn't see where I went wrong there. Again, driving on walls, you've got your weight and your inertia to think about. It all works very naturally and intuitively. Though I did find it challenging hitting apexes. And to my knowledge, this wasn't compatible with a wheel. Oh, trying to work your way over the top and over the line. Nice little cheer from the crowd there. It reminds me of the old cheer from Sensible Soccer many years ago. I don't know how I made that connection. Oh, that one there caused damage, didn't it, to the car. This was a tricky stage. Uh, again, this was one that I... Fragile, that's it. So you, you have to slow down a bit to keep the car in one piece. Ready for the next jump, that's it. So you know it's fragile, you boost it over the end. But still a lot of speed to find, clearly. So... Again, it's about learning and then unlearning what you've learned and uh, putting it all together as the tracks get longer and longer. I like some of these rugged areas. Now, I've done this from the third person perspective because that's generally how I play track mania. Obviously, you can drive in car if you'd like. There's also a view close to the car as well, but view is everything for me it just it just has a big advantage in this as it does with all racing games but in particular it's well optimized in terms of how it works here these ice tracks are very challenging i confess i didn't find the sweet spot with the ice uh, surface while doing this very tricky you can see the rear end constantly overtaking I tried it on the power, off the power. I tried every kind of technique. Uh, I tried sort of quarter throttle. But uh, it was very tricky trying to find a balance, which I didn't find. And then again, trying to find the right racing line. See, I'm going around the outside of the corners. I'm not able to connect up apexes. So I'm definitely not 100% in tune with positioning the car where I want to position it because you want it to be tight every time on that apex. So get your turning circle right. So there's a lot of learning to be done. That's where the experts just have that advantage. They'll pick this up and absolutely dominate. 
sideways. Make it. I meant to do that. You see, that's just what I intended. Skills. Backward across the line. Some of these look quite deceptive. This has a very much a Mario Kart feel to it as well. So that's pretty straightforward. And a bit of dirt surface as well. It's amazing the same circuit with a different surface completely changes the feel and the challenge. And as we come around over the line and just uh, the three more challenges to go in the training. So obviously throughout you've, you've got clubs you can create and get involved in. You've got uh, you know, obviously build your own tracks, share those online, the, the community making tracks all the time. I did a bit of racing around the, uh, uh, the, uh, the Red Bull ring that someone had created as well, which was fun. Uh, but again, because I couldn't position the car exactly where I wanted to, I, I wouldn't say I got as much out of it as I would from, say, an F1 racing game or something like that. Uh, so it's a fun little thing. And it's... I guess in a way it's something for the community but I, I think what's going to be interesting is will the subscription model work or not and how is that going to feature in terms of building a new community I can't help when I play this but look at it and think wouldn't it, this has been perfect again for the Switch though I do notice more and more of these sim simplistic racing games and I think damn this would have would have probably worked better on the Switch as well or if there was cross play or something like that might have worked well but uh, either way it's a good it's a good addition for those who enjoy the original series uh, but I don't know if it will expand the brand in that way and that was quite tricky I found this this green surface to be quite tricky the ice was just too frustrating I had to move on and now we finally uh, we combine all the surfaces fragile as well so again not wanting to jump there like I did before keep your car in one piece and again another jump here where you just try and keep it in one piece that's it no major thuds and then that really helps you with corners like this now you can kind of go hell for leather if you're fragile and you damage your car then it's just all over the place I really struggle with that corner but in a way the grass kind of helps you with the braking and down and round final quarter again I had no idea how to do this kept it on the track you see I fell off and I had to go again I thought well let's just finish it let's get over the line it's done it's done I've gone through the tutorial suffice to say I could have sat there all day perfecting it uh, but then the video would just never get done and I probably will do another time uh, the graphic settings on this I think were sort of sort of high uh, to, to very high in terms of different parts of the video uh, and I'll, I'll come back to this again in the future and have another look at it as it develops and builds a community from now on it's funny track mania is one of those one of those games that really it, it's i suppose in a way they don't want to show too much pre-release because without a community it doesn't work properly so it's one of those where we have to come back to it and see it again in the future but i want to share some gameplay on the channel do let me know your thoughts in the comments what do you think of Trackmania in the past? What do you think of Trackmania now? What would you like to see? Is this the game you would like to see? Are there elements to it that they haven't revealed that that are missing, that you, that you really feel would, should be a part of the Trackmania series? But um, that's it from me for now, for this brief video on Trackmania, and there'll be more from me very soon. Hello viewers, well thanks for watching the video today, do like and subscribe, it supports what we do, do become a YouTube member, YouTube Patreon supports all of our content you see on the channel and of course lots of gaming from retro to modern games, I love it all in terms of racing action, so click on one of the two videos just there to find out more.